Oh, hallelujah. Today is your day of wonder. Turn around. The Lord will turn everything around for you. In Jesus' mighty name. When the Lord turned around, the captivity of his people, they were like dreamers, yet it was real. The Lord will perform a miracle in your life today that will usher you into your dream world. In the name of Jesus Christ, what you never thought will happen in your lifetime, listen, before this month is over, you have it in your hands. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, in one day, God turned the captivity of Joseph around. And the slave boy who was a prisoner became a prime minister. You are nowhere right now, but hear me. Before this month is over, you are turned into a dreamer that's a realist. And In the name of Jesus Christ. What am I saying? You will think you are dreaming, but what you are thinking is a dream will be a reality. God is going to move you from where you are to where nobody can ever dream God will move you into. In Jesus' mighty name. Hear me and hear me well. Everybody saw Christ as a poor carpenter in Nazareth. A young man who nobody had any regard for. Went out one day and returned with all the power of heaven invested into him. Went to the wilderness, conquered Satan, a feat no human being ever accomplished since the beginning of man on earth. Christ conquered and came back without any advert, without any publicity, without anybody going to tell anybody anything. His fame went abroad. Jesus, in three short years, conquered the world to the extent that men from Greece came to where he was looking for him, for help. Hear me. Nobody knows you. In 33 years, Jesus Christ died, was buried. After the third day, he came out of the grave. The third day, he was brought out of the grave and went to heaven from this earth without any spaceship. Jesus, Rakana, Ambrakataya, broke protocols hear me and hear me well the same power that made it happen for jesus is in me now and i decree by the power and authority of christ that from today you are ushered into your unstoppable era things that you never dreamed or imagined will happen in your life you will see beginning from today in the name of jesus christ listen to me I am not here to play. The Lord Jesus said to me the time he saw. He said to me, stop anything that is happening in their lives because the time is up. Your suffering must stop now. Your sickness must stop now. Your disease must stop now. Everything you are going through must stop now because the time is up. It is over. We sit and taunting and tormenting you. It's over. In Jesus' mighty name, the time is up. He said, it is restoration time. Go, I send you as my ambassador. The same way the Father sent Jesus, even so he has sent me, as his ambassador, empowered, anointed, on fire, with all of his power that is in heaven and earth, inside of me. Come on now. I send you as my ambassador. He said to me, stop anything after their destruction. No matter what it is, stop it. Stop it. When I say stop, no devil will ever lift a finger. Now I speak by the authority of Christ. Whatever is happening in your life, that sort of evil stops right now. I command them to stop now. In the name of Jesus Christ. He said to me, bring healing to them. Bring liberty. Bring restoration. He said to me, raise, build, and plant them as Christ's ambassadors on his living mission everywhere and restore all things at all costs and by all means. Listen, after the important today, this word must be fulfilled in your life. In John 3 from verse 13, yet no one has ever gone up to heaven. Jesus said, but there is one who has come down from heaven. The son of man himself, who is 
dwells, has his home right now in heaven. Just as Moses lifted up the serpent in the desert on a pole, so must, so it is necessary that the Son of Man be lifted up on the cross in order that everyone who believes in him, who cleaves to him, trusts him, and relies on him, may not perish but have eternal life and actually live forever. For God so loved, greatly loved the world, dearly, greatly loved, prized the world that he gave, sent even his only son, that whosoever believes in, trusts in, clings to, relies on him, shall not perish, but come, or come to destruction, but come to eternal life shall not perish or come to destruction or be lost but have eternal life. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten, loved, dearly prized son. God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that who shall believe should not perish but have everlasting life. For God did not send the son to the world to condemn the world but that he who to him might be saved. God wants you saved. God wants you healed. God wants you delivered. God wants you restored. God wants you established, enthroned. God wants you to reign. God wants you to be empowered with wealth. God wants you to be empowered with power for you to live and then upon the earth as Adam be with them and as Christ is with them in heaven. Therefore, they are decree. Whatever you need to reign, it is released to you right now. Whatever you need to live like Christ here on earth now, I release this to you right now. You are healed. Be delivered. And I proclaim you on total liberty and restoration right now in jesus mighty name be blessed i want to hear from you you can never be sick again by the power that raised christ from the dead i declare you lifted up out of that satanic bo 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 dungeon and body in jesus mighty name peace